All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we are so excited to share just how easy it is to set up your development environment using Winget Configuration and Microsoft DSC. My name is Charla Sonixon. I'm a product manager focused on improving developer experiences on Windows uh, and Winget Configuration. Joining me today is Demetrius. Hey everybody, I'm Demetrius Nealon. I'm a product manager at Microsoft focusing on developer experiences with Charlo. It's the same team that does a lot of the tooling that you're familiar with, like Power Toys, WSL, um, a lot of those types of things, uh, primarily focusing on Winget. Really excited to show what we've got today. Yeah, so we've got some exciting content for you today. Uh, we're gonna start off with talking about what we mean when we say configuration as code. And then we're going to get into what Winget configuration is. And then finally, we're gonna show you the magic of Winget configuration export. So let's start with what we mean when we say configuration as code. So I think everyone can understand and relate when we say that onboarding and project setup is, or can be complicated, frustrating, tedious, uh, you know, there's outdated instructions or everything's kind of manual. Um, you know, even though this isn't necessarily a frequent task, it's often a pain. When we talk about configuration, we mean anything that you install, manage, set, or toggle on your machine. Packages, package settings, Windows settings, repos, and more can be configured with Winget configuration. Uh, when we talk about configuration as code, it allows you to have a repeatable and reliable setup experience that is easy to manage and transparent in its capabilities. Everything you need for configuration is under source control, which means it's open, flexible, and auditable. The configuration of a project can even be included in the project itself. If you're wondering what this looks like, we actually have a ton of configuration samples on our GitHub at aka.ms forward slash winget dash samples. Now, winget configuration allows you to create a simple YAML-based file that leverages the desired state configuration platform. Uh, formerly known as PowerShell DSC in its previous state, uh, it's now evolved into version three with the Microsoft desired state configuration uh, as it no longer requires PowerShell. So DSC is a declarative configuration and orchestration platform that defines a standard way of exposing applications and services. One of the benefits of Winget configuration is the file is declarative, and it promises that the focus is on ensuring that the right things are set. It's also item potent, meaning that the system matches that state repeatedly if necessary without making unnecessary changes. With Winget configuration, you can specify aspects of your configuration, like which packages to install, what settings you want for those packages, and even configure Windows itself. To demonstrate, I'm gonna pass it over to Demetrius to show off the experience of a Winget configuration file. Thanks, Charla. All right, so we're gonna look at a very simple example here. I'm gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code so that you can kind of take a look at what this configuration is doing. At the very top, lines three and four that I've got highlighted now are showing that Winget is gonna use the new DSC v3 engine. So this is the, this is the movement away from the, the PowerShell mechanism. The next thing that you see is resources. These are all the things that do the work that configure or apply settings or make changes to the system. The first one I've got is Windows settings. So we're gonna change the color mode and the theme from uh, light to dark with this. We're gonna set the taskbar alignment on the left and go through and make sure that we've got several packages installed with Winget. So I'm gonna double click on a reset demo to get everything back the way it was. And this is one of those things that people think is, oh, this is scary. You're doing, you know, changing window settings live on stage. This is basically what we've been designed to do is to be able to go in and make any types of changes on your system whatsoever. What's happening with this configuration while it's running, it's analyzing everything that's in the configuration, making sure the syntax is valid, showing me everything that it's doing, 
You'll notice at the top, I've got a shield here for the window settings because that requires elevation. And at the bottom, I've got this big yellow warning that says, hey, this is very powerful. I can do anything to your machine. Make sure you know what it's doing before you make any changes. So I get a user access control. When I accept that, it starts making the changes. Everything that's elevated, that's got that shield on it, gets run in the administrator context. Everything else gets run as the user context. And what you'll start seeing happening is things getting changed. So now we're in light mode. My icons are back in the center here. And we're making sure that I've got PowerShell, PowerToys, and Windows Terminal installed, and everything is in the desired state. So if I go back into um, pass things back over to Charlotte here and talk about what it looks like for me to be able to get um, this configuration out, and I'll show you how you can actually use this version of WinGet that I'm using today to do everything on your own. So one of the things that we love about Windows is just how customizable it is and how much flexibility you have to install and configure it to your own preferences. But when you need a new clean environment for development work, it can be kind of tedious to replicate that desired state. With WinGet Configuration Export, you can automatically capture your installed packages, their configurations, and even your Windows settings using just one simple command. This is completely customizable, so you can add or remove anything that you want in your file before you apply it in a new environment to ensure it's ready to go with everything you need to do your best development work. Whether you use it for migrating to a new machine, onboarding a peer, or setting up a new development workspace for yourself, WinGet configuration makes it easy to capture, customize, and configure your environment. Winget Configuration Export is an experimental feature, but you can test it out today. Um, but it's expected to GA end of June, along with the latest version of DSC v3. Now, I'm sure that all sounds a little bit too good to be true to just run a single command and then have everything captured and be able to replicate set. So, Demetrius, will you please show them that I'm not making this all up? Absolutely. So this command, winget configure export, I'm saying dash dash all because I want to get everything. And I'm specifying the output file as config.winget. Let me change my desktop real quick. So what's happening now is Winget is going through, it's looking at all of the settings that Winget has that you've specified in your user settings file, putting that into a configuration. It's pulling down a PowerShell module that has all of the publicly documented Windows settings that we've got implemented so far so that it can grab the Windows settings. It's going to look at any additional sources that are configured in Winget. And in this case, I have a private REST source set up that's for the build demo that's just got a few packages in it. And then it's going to go through and make sure that the dependencies are set up correct for all of the pieces of applications coming from different sources. And then it's going to throw all of that into one configuration file. While that's running, I'm going to go ahead and kick off another instance of this that is focusing on just the build source. Typos are fun. Yeah. You want to rename the title. The file too because he did build in the first one. Just config. I'll go back to the first one. I can see that it finished. There's a bunch of yellow output here. Um, you can ignore these warnings with dash dash no warn if you don't want to see them. But this is Winget listing out every single thing installed on the system that it was not able to correlate against so that you'll know what you can expect in the configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up inside of VS Code. So you can see how long this YAML file is with the thumbnail view on the right-hand side. Starting from the top, we're specifying that this is DSCV3. We've got our WinGet settings. So you can see I've got the experimental features enabled on lines 14 and 15. And I've got my visual settings for rainbow progress bar and Sixels so that I can see the icons in my terminal on line 17 and 18. 
We go down a little bit, we get into Windows settings, and you can see that it's captured the Windows settings from the system the way it's currently configured. And then we start getting into the packages, starting with Git, coming from the community source, the default. And if I keep scrolling down below that, we'll get to the point where it gets into the REST source that I have configured. And it actually installs and configures the REST source on the target device. And it knows that the packages have a dependency on that REST source being present as well. It handles all those. And then at the very bottom, it's giving you all of the applications that you've installed from the Microsoft Store using Winget. So for the shorter file that I'm going to actually run on the other, on the other device, You can see it's a much shorter file. So this one is going to do the same thing as the other one in terms of grabbing the Winget settings, grabbing the Windows settings, and then those applications that are in that REST source. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and open, grab that file and copy it over. I'm going to jump into a Microsoft dev box. These are ready to code environments that would already have source control, all of your tooling and everything. It's one of our Azure offerings. And what I'm going to do in this dev box is I'm going to kind of demonstrate, you know, a lot of people have their desktop set up the way they like it. They've got icons where they want them. They've got a bunch of other settings that make them happy and make them productive. And it's always a hassle when you're going into some other pre-configured environment to get things set up exactly the way you want them. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this file over in here from the export that I ran. And I'm just going to double click it. We've got a file handler that understands the .winget file extension to be able to basically launch the default terminal and start running the configuration for you. So this is going through applying that configuration that I exported. And one of the things I didn't tell you, the first device I did the export on, this is a Copilot Plus PC with the Snapdragon processor. So it's ARM64 architecture hardware. I literally took a backup from an ARM64 device, bring that configuration file over into the X64 architecture for the dev box. So if you're going from hardware platform to hardware platform, you don't have to deal with as many of those binary challenges that you would run into switching device types. Now, you are gonna have limitations if there's no uh, X64 or ARM64 installer for a particular application, that may not be able to transfer over but all of the X64 applications can run on emulation on the ARM64 hardware. So there's that prompt. It's going to go through and apply all of those same Windows settings. It's going to make sure all of those applications from that REST source are configured and installed. And we'll have all of these demo files up by the end of the week with those Winget samples so that you can actually run these configurations and do everything that we've done. This is an early preview build, so there's a couple of manual steps that are involved, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the basics of what you'll do to get the experimental features set up on your device. If I run Winget features, I can see which experimental features are enabled and disabled. In this case, I have enabled DSCV3 and configure export. If they're not enabled, I can just go to Winget settings. And because of the JSON schema, I get IntelliSense. But the main thing is just to have the configure export set as true and DSC3 set as true. That's going to enable all of the features that I've shown today. So I'm going to hand it back to Sharla and wrap things up for you. Yeah. Great. So like Demetria said, uh, this is available for you to test out today. Uh, make sure you're on the latest version of Winget. You can always check that by going winget-v. Uh, and then download the preview version that contains uh, the, the Winget experimental feature with, at aka.ms forward slash get Winget preview. Uh, and then you can open up your Windows settings just as Demetrius just demoed and add those couple of lines. Bonus, if you open it up in VS Code, IntelliSense will make it super easy for you to just add those couple of lines. Uh, and then you can run through those same steps and run Winget configure export and generate your own configuration file uh, of your own. And hopefully we have piqued your interest today. Uh, we have a ton of other great resources for you. 
uh, including our learn documentation and that sample uh, resources and files on our GitHub, aka.ms forward slash winget dash samples. Uh, we also have a bunch of other winget repositories and some other sessions and ways for you to connect with us. There's a deep dive this Thursday if you're interested in learning more about winget configuration and DSC platform. So that's Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Uh, and then we are also available at the build booth right behind you if you're here in person. Uh, and you can always reach out to us uh, at windevchat at microsoft.com. So thank you all so much for joining us today. And we look forward to hearing from you about how Winget configuration improves your setup experiences.